Okay, it is 7.45 in the morning. I just woke up. I'm outside having a cigarette. The only time I've had a weird experience was last night when I came out here for a cigarette before I went to bed. I kept feeling something. I was standing right here, right here, and I kept feeling something like right in this area. All in this area. All here. Okay? It freaked me out. I felt something like pull my jacket. That, that freaked me out. And so I finished my cigarette. And I ran inside. I already had the key in the lock because I knew I'd be freaked out. And I don't know. And then when I still felt like a weird thing like behind me as I went inside. Holy shit, I can feel it now. No, no, no. I'm going against the wall again. I'm going against the wall. I had to do this last night because I was too freaked out. So yeah. But um, it's very windy. So if y'all can barely hear me, I am sorry for that, but, um, <laughs> oh, shit, um, so Nick's gonna go get a shower, then we're gonna go get our free, our complimentary continental breakfast, and I'm gonna take a shower, and then we're gonna go look at some different, ooh, excuse me, um, battlefields and whatnot, and then we're gonna head to Philly, and check out a few museums. Shit, I'm shaking. I'm cold. But, um, so yeah. That's the only experience that I had last night, and it freaked me out, so. I didn't even think I'd actually, like, be able to feel a presence or have anything weird happen, but I, I've been proven wrong before, so. And my cigarette went out. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to do some videos if we go to some battlefields. Please excuse my shaking. It is cold. It is like 30-something degrees, but, um, yeah, I'm going to make some videos. Next time I get online, I'm going to upload them. Yeah, last night was pretty kind of creepy. Pretty kind of creepy. <laughs> All right, well. Check y'all later.